Hello dear students, you are welcome in this video. Dear students, many students are not subscribing to our channel but they watch our videos. So very first I request to all those viewers who are watching our videos regularly on English literature and they are learning from this channel. Please subscribe this channel so that I can get your support and the channel will grow for you all students so today is another video in the series of history of english literature this is hash 27 and in the previous history of english literature we were talking about 18th century literature or augustan age and we have covered some writers and critics in the same age now students we are moving ahead and this video is on a great personality in English literature and we will explore many things about the person we are talking in this video. So we will talk about his life background, how he spent his difficult days in London. Then we will also talk about his great works and how he became great. Everything you will get in this video and we also cover his major works. So let's start. Who is that figure? So students, here is that figure, Dr. Samuel Johnson, and we will explore his major works and the personality. So very first, let's talk about his life. He was born in Lichfield, Staffordshire in 1709. His father was a small bookseller and initially in his childhood, he has to suffer many deformities physical deformities and uh, he also uh, caught many diseases and this uh, life has persisted later but he became voracious reader because his father was a bookseller and they had a shop he went to his shop his father's shop there he sit for many hours and read a lot of classics he read many classics and he became a voracious reader there in the shop of his father and which helped him later in his life in writing and expressing his views and conversations which he had with the scholars at that time. Then he admitted to the Oxford University, the prestigious Oxford University, but he had to leave that university very soon because he was a poor person and poverty became a hurdle in his progress, in the progress of Dr. Johnson. But dear students, as we know that his father owned a bookshop and hence he could get opportunity to read a lot of classics and he was the person or students at that time in Oxford University who read so many classics than the common graduate student so that was his uh, plus point at university later at the age of 25 he married an older woman older enough to be his mother or to be the age of his mother but he married and he called that union a perfect union or perfect match for himself so it was the personality of Dr. Samuel Johnson. So uh, there was uh, James Boswell who tried to crack the personality, who tried to uh, crack the code of the personality of Dr. Samuel Johnson. Later we will discuss about his biography, how that biography is important for the students of English literature. Now dear students, let's move next. He married an older woman and he received a dowry of 800 pounds by that older woman both started a school but that school attempt failed and he realized that he could not run that school and there are many problems in his life and hence he had to live that married life and he went to London there in London he wrote some prefaces, reviews and translations. He also did some translations and he earned some living by working uh, on different projects there in the London. But those were the very difficult days of Dr. Johnson. He spent many nights sleepless on the streets. Many times he roamed in the London 
on the streets in cold days in a very uh, bad weather because he did not have any shelter and he has to live that life life on the streets later it is expressed in his one of the poems then he wrote a poem called london and he also uh, composed life of the poet savage where you find wretched life in london and he tried to explain how many poets as uh, they were described in the dunciad of alexander pope how these poets were spending their lives on streets writing something or the other and uh, still they are not getting success but these two pieces of his work london the poem and the life of the poet savage earned him some success and from there people were noticing dr johnson in his bad days that was a great point in the life of dr johnson that poem london and the life of poet savage dear students he died in poor fleet street house in 1784 and buried in westminster abbey so westminster abbey as we all know that a prestigious place where the persons who have national uh, importance or great in literature or politics they Uh, are buried in westminster abbey where we find many poets were buried and he also received that status of burial in westminster abbey now dear students let's move to the major works of dr samuel johnson so here i have picked only a few works if you want complete list you can comment below in the comment section i will provide the complete list of his important or all works on telegram channel namely literature simply just you can go there uh, on literature simply and find there are many pdfs i have posted of the works of various writers and other kind of material so i will post if you want but here we will discuss only important works which still are relevant to study so here uh, in his work we have some important foundations for example he started two magazines the rambler in 1750 and he ran that rambler uh, till 52 next is the idler 1758 to 60 now these two magazines are very important in english literature because he wrote miscellaneous in those uh, two magazines we found his essays pamphlets different types of writings his comments opinions views on various writers so he also wrote many essays in spectator and based on spectator he started or he took inspiration or motivation from spectator and he started these two magazines the rambler and the idler which were became famous in those days for the literary pieces literary essays opinions and uh, views expressed by various writers and we also have his own uh, views or opinions expressed in the rambler and the latter the essays uh, from rambler which were published in Lam rambler uh, collected in the form of collections called essays and it is published which uh, gone through the 10 editions so we have 10 editions of dr johnson's all those essays but dear students dr johnson hardly earned some money from these editions so it was a bad luck again for dr johnson but still some of essays are very important and still we read for example we have essay called the reading which is very important for the students next he founded the famous literary club in london and we found that uh, there were prestigious and scholar members of this literary club it was uh, an attempt by dr johnson and later this club formed very heating moments of conversation on various uh, kinds of things happening in london in literature in political life in social life in cultural life of the people of london and everything they tried to reflect in their works so this literary club also has importance next year students now we have his uh, very famous work called a dictionary of the english language it was the first attempt in english in english language to form a dictionary and we find that this dictionary is called the first dictionary uh, in english language 
Next, we have Lives of the Poets, a very important work uh, which is published through 1779 to 81. And in these lives, we find that uh, it is a very simplest and most readable of his literary works. Uh, there are, I think, 52 or 54 uh, poets he covered in this Lives of the Poets. It is a biography. So, we have this biography by a great scholar like Dr. Johnson and hence this becomes a reliable source to understand the life of London at that period, the, how people uh, were living there and how these poets were influenced by uh, the manners of those people and what kind of writings they formed and still these writings are important. So, if you wish you can read these lives of the poets it's a very uh, important work in english literature next dear students we have a poem of 368 lines called the vanity of human wishes you can see the very title of this poem vanity of human wishes and here he uh, talks about the worldly things cannot satisfy or we do not have genuine solution or permanent solution in this worldly or physical things and he expresses this philosophy in this poem the vanity of human wishes then we have a novella a story about bliss and ignorance called Razelas, prince of abyssinia published in 1759 then we have very famous preface to the plays of william shakespeare published in 1765 now this preface to the plays of william shakespeare again is a very important critical works because we have a judgment of the works of William Shakespeare and we know Dr. Johnson as a reviewer, Dr. Johnson as a person who wrote many prefaces to the different types of plays, different types of works in English literature and hence this preface to the plays of William Shakespeare becomes very important. Actually, I have that preface uh, with me which is very important and he talks about different things how Shakespeare exploited in his plays, his characters, his protagonists and from there we have a turn in the criticism of Shakespeare. How will uh, Dr. Johnson looks at the characters of Shakespeare and how latter other scholars were looking at the well, characters of Shakespeare, we have different types of opinions when we read this uh, preface to the plays of William Shakespeare. It's very important. Next dear students, we have Life of Mr. Richard Savage, 1744. Actually, this is also a biographical sketch later. This is uh, included in the lives of the poets and this is his first attempt, we can say. Uh, he wrote a biographical information or biography in brief of uh, a poet called Richard Savage which was very famous and his life was uh, controversial and he picked those controversial life in this life of Mr. Richard Savage. Now dear students this is all about the major works of uh, Dr. Samuel Johnson. If you have any difficulty, you can comment below or you can direct email me on contact literature simply at gmail.com. Uh, we will have a conversation on uh, Dr. Johnson. Now, dear students, all this information came to us through a medium and that was James Boswell's biography of Dr. Johnson called Life of Johnson. He put a very perfect picture, we can say, or complete picture of Dr. Johnson, not only of his works or texts, but as a person in general life, how he behaved with other people, how he his conversations were heating in those days and how he became famous. So here we have an opinion of William J. Long about this Life of Johnson or about this biography, how this biography is important in English literature. It is an immortal work. Praise is superfluous. It must be appreciated like the Greek sculptures, the little slave produced a more enduring work than the great master. Now here direct comparison we found in Dr. Johnson and Boswell's works. So. It is greater than the master. What master has produced, I mean Dr. Johnson has produced is important. But what is more important? The life of Johnson, which is written by Boswell. So this Boswell's 
biography gives us ample information ample kind of uh, knowledge about the works of dr samuel johnson and samuel johnson as a person so this you can keep in your mind now uh, james boswell was a scottish biographer he was also a diarist and lawyer by profession so this is all about dr samuel johnson in the next video we will have next personality in english literature or next author